Hello, thanks for finding me. My name's Dr. Steve Simpson. I'm a medical doctor, but I work uh, exclusively as a mind coach now and have done for about the last nine or 10 years. Now, in my books and my online coaching programs, sooner or later, I will mention what I call the three H's, and they are hypnosis, heart math, and havening. And I use them in one way or the other with most of my clients. I do that because I've found them very effective. And um, obviously people ask me questions about it, um, particularly in my online coaches. And so that's why I'm doing this video. Heart math, I'm not going to mention that because I've mentioned it in other places. Hypnosis, uh, all I'll say about hypnosis is that it's best to uh, experience it uh, rather than watch a video or hear somebody talking about it and um, on uh, my website uh, there's a, uh, a uh, audio book a hypnotic audio book called Zen Hypnosis Confidence I uh, made that in 2010 and in 2010 it was uh, the number one bestseller in Europe in any category uh, for most of the year and um, I took it off iTunes about a year or so ago. They lost all my reviews. And so I just keep it on my website now. And I think it's priced at $3.99 if you're interested. Now, havening is the, uh, the main thing that I want to talk about now. And I'm going to demonstrate how you can do self-havening. You don't need to go and see a therapist for it. Now, the beauty of havening is that it's as simple or as complicated as you want to make it, really. And everything that I say today is going to be very simple. If you need to go uh, or if you want to go to a higher level, then I recommend you get some proper training. And if you look at the uh, website, havening.org and havening.com, um, you will find out how you can do this. So what is havening? Well, it's described as a psychosensory technique, which means that it involves touch. And it was um, created and developed by Dr. Ron Rudin, who is a, a medical doctor practicing in New York. And um, I think he's been using Havening for about 10 years and he's kept it pretty quiet until recently. And I only found out about it three, three years ago. And it involves a touch. If uh, I'm on my own, but if I uh, was with a client, I would be touching the client's shoulders and rubbing them in something like this. Now self-havening is when you do it to yourself and it can be very powerful which is why I'm going to tell you about it. So this is how I would self-haven myself. Now when you do it you'll find that it's strangely comforting and you can't explain why. And Dr. Rudin will give you all of the, all of the neuroscience and um, that will probably give you a migraine. It does me anyway. But I describe it in a simple way. If, you're a, if, um, if you see a child crying, is upset or falls over, what would you do instinctively? You would instinctively stroke that person's arm because it's a soothing, comforting thing. And I think this is like a reptilian reflex. It's something hidden in the deep part of our brain. We don't know why it helps, but everybody instinctively knows that it does. There's nothing nicer than having an arm put around you and a hug. So this is, this is self-havening. And even you can just do this on your own, listening to music, whatever you like, and it will make you feel calmer. But it doesn't stop there. You see, you can also use it in a more directed way. Before I say that, or perhaps I should say, questions you might be thinking now are, how fast do I stroke my arm? Or how hard do I press? There's no right and right answer here. Just do what feels right for you. You'll know. Trust your instinct. You've heard me say that a few times. So anyway, a lot of my clients are elite performers and they have to, uh, well, they choose to perform in front of others in sports or music or in drama or whatever, or public speaking. And guess what? Many people, in fact, maybe everybody, they don't feel comfortable in this environment. And um, it can, uh, a little bit of excitement when you perform can be good. It can, you know, a bit of adrenaline can give you a bit of an edge. But for most things, one needs to keep control of one's emotions and stay calm. And um, so a lot of uh, 
um, elite performers have difficulty with this, particularly when they're under pressure and there's a lot of money at stake, literally. So I would say to them, well, how do you feel at times like this? And they might say, well, I feel stressed, I feel um, agitated, um, anxious, whatever, you know, they can come up with all kinds of different words. And so then I will say, well, how do you want to feel? And they say, well, perhaps I want to feel calm. So I say, OK, well, I can't be with you all the time. Um, so when you're in a situation like this again, this is something that you can do. And uh, you have to change the words a little bit. You have to speak in the present tense. So for this analogy that I gave, it won't be I want to be calm. It will be I am calm. I am calm. It could be I am relaxed. It could be I am confident. It can be whatever is right for you. So you would self-haven and you would keep on saying this aloud. How long for? As long as it feels right. Just keep on going. I am calm. I am calm. Typically within two or three minutes something happens, those um, brain chemicals start kicking in and you do feel calmer. So try that one. Now if that one doesn't work or as an experiment you might want to try something slightly different because this can be quite amusing and the person who wants to be calm they want to because they were feeling anxious or they might have been feeling angry well you try this one don't turn it around to the positive just stay with that and say I am angry I am angry I am angry and keep on going because sooner or later if you are angry you can't fake this if you are angry you'll suddenly realize the whole thing is ridiculous and you might start smiling and laughing because that means that something has happened in your mind and you're recognizing anger for the useless purposeless emotion that it is so there we are there's some ways to use self-havening the best way of course and even if this is the only thing you do is find out what it is if you're anxious I am calm I am calm so um, let me know how you get on and um, if you go to my website where this is going to be in a blog there's a little bonus that I've added and it is the frequency of OM OM um, th this is a, a, a sound that people make in meditating it's th um, common throughout many of the Eastern cultures and it has a frequency and the frequency is 432 Hertz now excuse me while I just press something on my keyboard because I've made a little audio recording which will be um, on my on my website and you can listen to it or download it it lasts about six minutes and I listen to this whenever I'm going to do something important or where I need to be um, in a good state so just to give you a sneak preview this is what 432 Hertz sounds like okay I hope you're feeling a little bit better already who knows so that's enough for today um, if you want to know more about uh, ohm go to my website and uh, I don't know what we'll be talking about next time, but uh, send me some ideas. If there's something you would like me to make a little video about, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, see you all again soon. In the meantime, have a fantastic time. Goodbye.